at the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. I think I'm gonna title this video, Welcome to Pro Hockey, or The Realities of Pro Hockey, or something along those lines, because today is the day that the league mandates the roster has to be cut from 22 players down to 19. Now, uh, I usually go to bed earlier, around like 10-ish. I think I got maybe three hours of sleep last night, just the uh, the pro hockey anxiety of, am I on that list? Am I getting traded? Am I getting released? All these thoughts that I have no control over that really don't change anything. And as much as I was trying to remind myself, you can observe these thoughts, but don't entertain them. I did get the better of me probably until about, I don't know, three, four in the morning-ish, but that is part of the business. You are nothing more than an asset. You are absolutely meat on a hook. I know it's maybe a little bit uh, blunt, but it's true. The team can trade you, the team can release you, and even though uh, being traded does suck because uh, one team is getting rid of you, one team is trading for you and bringing you in. So flipping that perspective on its head, trying to find the positives and things, which I'm trying my best to do these days. Although Portsea is gone, uh, I did find this awesome sweater in my suitcase last night. And Ports and I have a little segment called the Laporte card where he reviews all my fits because I've been trying to dress myself better lately. So I will have to continue doing this without him. And it's another work day. Where you guys going all protein shake? Greens. Oh, greens. This actually tastes like peach candy. So we have like a all you can eat like breakfast buffet if you want to call it that. We have the bagels, we get cream cheese spread. Nothing but the best here in the feds, you know. I know Shui loves his everything bagels in the morning. Personally, fast till after practice and crush a bag with a whole lot of cream cheese. And the end of protein pancakes, you own yourself protein, Canadian made stuff, Coach Trev sucks, hobby boy get paid. It's just luxury. <laughs> Fantastic. I love pancakes. Best pancakes in the fed? Probably. You hear that? What is going on in this house? <laughs> Hey, I bought that Swiffer. Be nice to it. No, the Swiffer's good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I've still been scratched for every single game so far this season. Uh, still reminding myself through my daily journaling, I know what I bring to the table, and that in turn is going to create positivity and a positive mindset. Still being an absolute professional every single day when I come to the rink. Good morning skate, uh, lunch, load the bus. Off to Binghamton, assuming 
I'm dressing, and then I get to travel with the team. in too, but this one's like straight. Like when I set them up. Something I see in the comment section all the time and a question I get asked personally is how do you afford to live? Uh, how are you not living at your parents? How are you staying afloat? And for the most part, although whether you're making league minimum at 125 or league maximum at I believe 250, even with the fantastic Canada US dollar right now, it's not enough to stay afloat. Uh, one of the ideas that I had over two years ago was um, instead of paying companies for gear, why don't I get paid to wear it? So for example, uh, I'm very fortunate in the Fed where we have like the warrior deal. So I get like 60% off all my G6 stuff. So I get the gear for a very cheap price and then I get uh, She Thunwear, the primary sponsor that I have. Uh, they pay me for advertising for the glove, the pad, the blocker, which you can see in the corner and that, along with all the other brand deals, the sponsors, obviously YouTube AdSense, and then more so recently in the last two years, my podcast, Sing the Biscuit, which you can listen to every single Sunday. Uh, that basically rounds up my full-time income on top of uh, pro hockey money because even if I was making the league maximum, I would still be absolutely broke. And I think everybody on the team would feel the exact same way, which is why guys do things in the summer. They work construction, landscaping. Uh, I'm fully independent financially. So when I go to live in Vancouver in the summers, living by myself, or like when I get a new vehicle this spring, or if I get new gear, whatever it is, it's all funded by YouTube. YouTube has been my only income source for over five years now. I haven't worked a real job. The last job I worked was at Best Buy, which I got fired from, which is a different story for a different time. No Mikey's kind of smile in the background. It's a very interesting story. If you have supported, if you have bought in Sheath Underwear or supporting the sponsors, thank you because that is what allows me to live the lifestyle and do what I do, which again, I'm so blessed and so, so thankful because it's the greatest thing I've ever done in my entire life. This is uh, Business Talk in the Fed with Travis. I hope you enjoyed my well, speech. But it's now time to put the puck on the ice and it looks like we're ready to go. Dustin Jasso is going to take the opening faceoff going up against Thomas Murphy who did not have a number on the official roster sheet He's going to wear number 20 dressed in white tonight. As you can tell, I'm scratched again. This is going to be five, I think maybe six games in a row scratched. Have not dressed yet this season. I would be lying if it wasn't frustrating, but that doesn't manifest anything positive or anything beneficial for myself. The only way to look at it as is the team has traveled. I'm not allowed to travel the team. I'm not going to bother spending time watching the game, manifesting negative thoughts or any of that type of stuff. I'm going to get to work. I'm going to literally put my boots on and go to the gym and do the only thing that I can in the position that I'm in, which is to get better. Guys spend all day playing Xbox in the Fed. I swear to God, guys come home and they just play Xbox all day, leveling, leveling up their characters and playing these games and getting upgrades. Well, why don't I do the same for myself in real life and for my team to try to deliver the best version of myself every single day that I can. And if my team doesn't see that, well, then that's just them not understanding what I bring to the table. The people making the decisions for the team may not understand my value at this moment in time, but it's only a matter of time before they do. And if they don't, somebody else will see that. Um, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna go to bed, and I'm going to prepare for tomorrow's game, which I am also scratched for. And again, show up with a positive attitude, support the guys, and wait for my opportunity. It's not sexy, it's not what I wanna be saying, it's not what you wanna hear, but it's the only thing to do in this situation. Binghamton's offense here, as the final horn sounds, Binghamton defeats Watertown by a final score of nine to five. Number 33, 